to promote a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in the country. Government of India started the Atal Incubation Mission, an initiative that plays a crucial role in fostering the startup ecosystem in India by providing the necessary support and resources to budding entrepreneurs and innovators. By participating in the Atal Incubation Mission, many institutions have significantly enhanced their role in the innovation ecosystem, contributing to the broader goals of national development and economic growth. One such institution is Jyoti Institute of Technology. We spoke with Dr. Ananta Prasad, CEO of Atal Incubation Center at Jyoti Institute of Technology to know how this institute is making the most of Atal Incubation Mission and making a difference in the lives of many. Hi, I am uh, Dr. M.J. Anand Prasad. I am the CEO of Atal Incubation Center at Jyoti Institute of uh, Technology. Uh, we are the first academic institution in Karnataka where we are supported by the Atal Innovation Mission Niti Aayog to set up a startup ecosystem in the Jyoti Institute of uh, Technology campus. Uh, we are spread across about uh, 60,000 uh, square feet uh, space uh, with all physical incubation and uh, we give the space varies from 50 square feet to the 800 square feet space to the startups and it is a complete 360 degree support which we are providing to the startup starting from the funding support to the mentoring support uh, physical space equipment facility and uh, followed by the other supports like business connect and uh, connecting to the investor everything which we are providing under the umbrella of atal incubation uh, center we have about uh, 92 plus startups all physical incubated and uh, total employment generation happened because of these uh, startups has crossed more than about 250 plus employment generation and the total combined valuation is nearing to 800 uh, crores and um, we are also running a program startup india seed funding scheme uh, under the phase one we we have successfully uh, reached uh, to about uh, 16 startups under which uh, more than about eight startups have crossed more than about two crores of uh, turnover and uh, and the combined valuation of the startup india seed funding supported startup has crossed more than about 200 crores and with about 100 plus employment generation and we are also running a program called Nidhi Prayas uh, program uh, wherein we will give the uh, 10 lakhs up to 10 lakhs of grant varies from uh, uh, varies from 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs uh, for an individual innovator and also for a startup uh, to convert their idea uh, into a prototype we are also running a program Nidhi accelerator program we have also run various CSR funding uh, uh, as well. Basically, we incubate company whoever is working in the areas of food technology, devices and sensors including an IOT and also material is uh, mainly our thrust area and allied thrust areas like healthcare and sometimes on the biotechnology and uh, food technology in terms of the food packaging, food processing, everything comes under this particular thrust area. We are working in the areas of uh, devices and sensors, food technology and materials. Just to give you an example, under the devices and sensors, uh, we have developed a device uh, which can identify chikungunya, dengue and malaria on generally on the less than the 48 hours. So that is a very uh, major problem in India to identify the right disease, either it is a chikungunya and dengue, dengue or and malaria. So we have developed such uh, devices and uh, right now the clinical trials is on and more or less uh, the clinical trials we have completed. We are seeking the support uh, from the government to, to start an uh, production unit manufacturing unit as well and similarly we are also working on the devices where uh, the 3d bioprinter which is one of the success story under the AIC Jyoti uh, so wherein we can uh, print various uh, cells of the body this particular uh, device or a machine which is already there in the market which we already supply to uh, even ICMR Delhi Ames uh, Jaipur then also Central Leather Research Institute and many other uh, places uh, the company is the 3D bioprinting. Similarly, whereas in the case of uh, food technology, we are working in the food quality testing, which is very, very important uh, in the present context. So, uh, this particular food quality testing, any any kind of uh, food or uh, grains or including the milk oil, so we can test it for the uh, adulteration. So, that is one of the important thing which we are doing. 
and whereas in the materials mostly more of our uh, orientation towards the agricultural waste <laughs> one example is the uh, uh, using of areca leaves so uh, converting the areca leaves waste into a useful product so this is uh, done by uh, uh, one of the company and which is also come in the prime minister 96th prime minister monkey bath so uh, so this is already in the even in the global market even in terms of the food technology again we have a uh, you know converting all the millet uh, into a cutleries and uh, this is again in the international market so this is how we are helping and very unique uh, thing at ac jyoti we have a very sophisticated instrument facility uh, where, wherein you the materials people really need a sem xrd and um, sometimes the 3d printer so uh, and all the food uh, related including the protein estimations machines everything under the food we have developed uh, such ecosystem at the at the campus itself at the jyoti institute of technology in terms of uh, achieving the important milestones at as jyoti uh, we are consistently the top 15 incubator under the umbrella of atal innovation uh, mission and uh, the next important thing which we have achieved uh, is the uh, we have got a startup india seed funding in the cycle 2 we are the first one in india uh, we 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 got additional funding up to a 5 crores from the startup india seed funding scheme and uh, then we also got a nidhi prayas uh, uh, funding uh, so that is under the dst i think very few incubator under the atal innovation mission they have got uh, this nidhi, nidhi seed uh, nidhi prayas uh, applications and we got the nidhi prayas and uh, very recently we got a nidhi accelerator i think uh, uh, very few incubator under the umbrella of atal innovation mission has got the uh, accelerator uh, position and we are very happy that we also got selected under the nidhi accelerator from the dst so these are all the important milestones other than that we are also helping our startups to grow so one of course we have got one of the startup who are selected for the national technology day program to showcase their innovations to the prime honorable prime minister in the national technology day program 2023 and uh, so because of that particular support again they got a order order from russia we have done the three uh, 3d bio printer shipping is already done to russia as well and similarly uh, even in the 96th prime minister monkey bath one of our startup uh, uh, activity is also mentioned and discussed during the prime minister monkey bath um, the, the, these are all the important milestone which we have uh, achieved and uh, and we have got a huge uh, very various funding support uh, for our startup from various funding agency both national as well as on the international funding as well nowadays if you look at uh, the norms uh, from the aict or from the ugc or from the government of india norms uh, it is um, uh, it is uh, expected from the higher educational institution to more focus on the innovative products and uh, technology transfers technology development r and d activity these things are mandatory and if you look at the uh, either in the nba or in the nac even in the nirf ranking these parameters are the mandatory activity so how many innovative product developed and how many products are already in the market how many startups uh, from the uh, faculty how many startups are formed from the students so these are all the important thing which is coming from the government of india has a, a mandatory kind of a rule in fact uh, there is no uh, university or there is no single point of uh, offices where these startups can go and approach for the various support so that is the reason why the government uh, government has came with an concept called incubator so this is the place where these startups can come and express their requirement and this is this is the place where they will get the complete 360 degree support and 100% focus on their area as well so uh, in in the incubator the important things so they will get the technology in case if they have the technology if they want to become if they want to do a technology transfer this is the place where they can do the technology transfers then if they really want to convert their idea if they are coming with an idea they can convert their idea into a product and this is the place where they will get all the types of funding which varies from the grant to the seed funding so if you if they are uh, already having a product if they are looking for higher investment to connect with the angel investor or a vc for venture capitalist or for a go to market strategy 
this is the players the place they can uh, express and they will get all the support from the business incubator uh, that's how the uh, if you have a business incubator in the campus it is not only for outside startups even we can also promote uh, young students to think about in the entrepreneurial activity as well so this is how the important things just if you look at uh, uh, more than 10 years uh, data so india stands in the more than 10th position in the uh, in the startup ecosystem in the globe and from the last 6 to 7 years india has moved from the 10th uh, position to the uh, top third position uh, so after the us and uh, china uh, so largest startup ecosystem is in india and uh, the the promotion of the startup ecosystem by the government uh, he, the support is very huge and coming with a lot of uh, relaxation in the norms uh, which is helping which is benefiting to the startup to fundraising and entering into the market and it is not only in Indian market even in the global market as well uh, uh, so maybe in another five years down the line India will become the uh, the first startup ecosystem country with 100% Atmanirbhar so that's that's my view on the point